Justin, Mike, congratulations. Your hard work has paid off in the first two rounds of this competition, so that means the two of you are moving forward in the third and final round. We're sending you back to build an iconic weapon from history. And that weapon is this. The Continental Cavalry Sabre. The Continental Cavalry Sabre was an iconic sword used during the American Revolutionary War. While this style of sword was originally built for British soldiers, American bladesmiths started reproducing them for the Continental soldiers. These long curved single-edged blades delivered lethal cuts against British soldiers as the Continental Army ambushed them from horseback. These American swords were famously wielded by revolutionaries during the Battle of Princeton in 1777, where George Washington defeated the British, retaking New Jersey and forcing the British retreat into New York. All right, guys, well, one of you is going to be coming back here with a blade worth $10,000, so we want to see your very best work. So good luck. We'll see you in four days. My name is Justin Hammond. I'm 28 years old. I'm a full-time bladesmith, and I am from Lockhart, Texas. Before bladesmithing, I was a chef for about 12 years. If I win, I just found out that my wife lost her wedding band, so I'm going to buy my wife a new wedding band. <laughs> Biggest challenge is getting the curvature just right. This is a long sword, man. I've got my blade parameters met. It's time to quench. Taking my time. Anything can go wrong when you heat treat. <laughs> and she worked. That's what I wanted to see. I wanted to start getting some measurements taken. I'm about an eighth of an inch shy on my curve. The only way for me to get the link I need is to stick her back in the fire. Goodbye, heat treat. I need to try and get this curve to parameters. Puts a lot of stress on a sword. Couldn't pick up a crack, but I don't have time to make another one. This quench has to be perfect. As long as there's no cracks, that should be OK. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Quenches went well. Very relieved to see that. Who gets to be so lucky to so have two successful quenches? I'm good to go. I finished the blade yesterday, so uh, there's nothing left to do but fit and finish. Love it when I finish up a blade on Wednesday because I get to do all my hand sanding whilst watching one of my favorite TV shows. The sword is assembled, it's complete, it's sharp, so let's go ahead and test it. It just kind of barely glinted into my hand a little bit. The guard hitting the judge's knuckle is certainly something that could send me home. Man, I've got to fix this. I'd be able to just bend this out a little bit and just weld it a little bit higher up. It's comfortable. I can't wait to see it tested, though. I absolutely love this thing. My name is Michael Lavalle. I'm from Fort Polk, Louisiana. I'm 34 years old, and I'm currently serving the United States military. What got me into bladesmithing is my friend Tyler Hackbarth, Ford Fire Champion previously on the show. We deployed together back in 2007 and been friends ever since. And I'm just proud to represent. It's a healthy stack. This is like the most stressful part, just getting the initial welds to set. After smashing repeatedly, these welds are set. It's time to start cranking up the heat and let's get this thing drawn out. I have to get my heat treat in. Make sure I get it evenly as heated as possible. There's always a warp as a possibility and they happen. I've spent two days making this sword. Here we go. I need this quench to go right. All right, that'll work. So the quench went good. So now I just gotta get my handle together and make a guard. There we go. In round three, I'm feeling good. I was a little worried. I wouldn't have enough time to finish, but I was able to do it. And the blade's a little heavier than I wanted, but I'm happy with how it turned out. And will it kill? I think it would. <laughs> Bladesmiths, welcome to the dynamic kill test. To find out just how durable your weapons are, I'm going to cut through this pink carcass and these drums. Justin, you're first. You ready for this? Let's do it. <laughs> All right, Justin, song about your saber here. First up, your handle construction. It is nice and smooth. It's avoid enough to where I have a very good
good grip. Now, for a Sabre design, I usually see the curves a little bit up front over here, but it wasn't an issue. Overall, sir, your Sabre, it will kill. All right, Mike, your turn, so you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. All right, Mike, your blade is beautiful. I really like the Damascus patterns that you put on it. It's a little bit on the heavier side, so when I'm striking with this on the recovery, it wants to shift a little bit on the handle construction here. But in the beating and cutting of the drum, your edge stayed true. Overall, sir, your saber, you'll keel. Thank you, dude. All right, gentlemen, it's time for our dynamic strength test to test the overall construction of your blade as well as how it feels in my hand, I'll be attacking our British warship here. Justin, you're up, are you ready? Ready when you are. Okay. So Justin, first off, everything's in one piece, blade's still just as sharp as it was. But having that curve here, as opposed to out here, the weight is kind of behind where I'm expecting it to be. But it did a great job, it held up beautifully, nicely done. Thank you, sir. Ready to go, Mike? I'm ready. Okay. All right, Mike, right off, a really nice job. The, the pattern on this is really pretty. But this is a heavy weapon. With all that weight, it's very difficult to stop that blade. But it held up, it's in one piece. Nice job. Thank you. All right, Bladesmiths, well, both of your blades performed extremely well. But the time has come for our judges to decide which one of you is leaving here with the title of Forge and Fire Champion and a check for $10,000. Today's Forge and Fire Champion is Justin, congratulations. Now, Mike, you did an extremely good job, but unfortunately your blade did not make the cut, and Doug's gonna tell you why. Mike, it wasn't an easy decision because that's a fine blade that performed quite well. But at the end of the day, the sheer weight of your blade made it hard for us to control. And for that reason, we're sending you home. Okay, thank you. Well, Mike, myself and the judges would all like to say thank you so much for coming to the Forge, showing us your craft, but unfortunately your time in this competition has ended. I'm gonna have to ask you to please step off the forge floor. Okay. Thanks for having Thank you so much. Thank you, good job, Mike. Good job. Mike. Good job I feel like the judges made a good call. My weapon was a little heavier than I would have liked it. Actually, be able to make the Continental Cavalry Saber was like an honor. It's considered the military, so it's a good experience. Justin, buddy, congratulations! You are the Forge of Fire champion. You just got yourself a check for ten thousand dollars. Well done. Bye, Dan. How you feeling? There. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to the fire. <laughs> yeah, what are people home gonna say? I can't wait to get out of here and give them a phone call because I can't wait to tell them. Damn. <laughs>